That thing is coming this way, girl. Well, it's and it's changing slow. pattern. If it's a plane, it's moving mighty damn slow. Well, I think it's gonna land right here on us. Child, please. <laughs> It might. They don't pick up. They don't pick up black people. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> they they just pick up white. Oh, but you guys are white and you, so they might get your ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, cause you gonna go closer and see what it is. <laughs> so Ooh, yeah, it might get your that? ass. Michael A. Anson. No, not yet. Should I call him again? Oh. It's coming. Look. Don't you think it's getting closer? Look at it. Not to me. What the hell you had? <laughs> I'm telling you. It's changing form again. That shit in the same damn spot. It's looking for Polly. It's looking for you. Anybody's got P in their name. <laughs> you, <laughs> Anybody's you got P in their name. Uh, I don't have any. Oh yeah, I do have P in Thompson. Thompson. It looks mighty close. We'll see. It's gone. It's completely gone. That thing that was up there is gone. This is like half an hour later. That's crazy, man. I don't know if that was a UFO or what that was, but it certainly wasn't a star. I kept telling my friend that was not a star. Ugh, what was it? guys sleep grandma here I just wanted to show you what we're listening to it is stress anxiety healing and it's uh, called the uh, uh, here it is sleep sleep tube hypnotic relaxation nice Let me turn it a little bit low because it is a little bit loud So today I wanted to talk to you about dethorning your life. Um, this is a little, I bought two of these plaques and uh, one was for my friend that died of cancer and one was for me. This girl can. So I wanted to talk to you guys about dethorning your life. Now this was my life before, it was just like full of dark colors and um, Oh gosh, everything was like, anytime anything happened, it was, uh, I always looked on the bad side of things. I always felt like I was playing a whack-a-mole, you know. I would whack one mole, another one would pop up. I would whack that mole, another one would pop up. It was always some shit going down. Um, something was happening. Somebody was throwing a tantrum. Somebody was running away from home. It was just always something, you know. And everything was just so dreary and cracked and and hard to get through. I mean, it was like a maze, like trying to get through a maze. And uh, it was just very chaotic all the time. I'm not kidding you. I mean, I, it's not an exaggeration. And as a result of so much stress for so long, I ended up with um, high blood pressure and um, alcoholism, which... Yeah, it runs in the family, but, you know, all that stress can trigger it, too. And um, also post-traumatic stress disorder from so much um, prolonged stress, you know, because when you're under such prolonged stress, it makes um, a certain one of your, what is it? I think it's your hypothalamus or one of those one of those glands in your brain uh, shrinks, you know. So, um, yeah, your brain actually, the function of your brain starts to get affected. So, um, I've since then 
really cleared away a lot of stuff in my life. And I had to take out, you know, the chaotic people. I had to remove some chaotic people. Even this was a close family member I had to remove. Had to remove a best friend. Had to remove another best friend. Had to ch stop doing the job that I didn't like, even though it paid well. I, of course, got a divorce. Because I lived in that state for 26 years, so... That chaotic state for 26 and a half years, so that was enough. I just had enough. Uh, was very poor health when I left. I um, stay away from chaotic people, people that are real gossipers, people that are um, don't have my best intentions in mind. Get rid of the garbage. I clean up the garbage. I work a spiritual program that helps me clear away the wreckage of my past. I um, take care of myself. I don't put others first. I put myself first and my needs first now. Take that out. I um, don't drag myself through bad situations. You know, the saying is, let go or be dragged. Well, I don't let myself be dragged today. I also don't have people in my life that put pressure on me. If I can do it, fine, but if I can't, I won't. And that's just the end of that. If they ask me to do something, I say, yeah, that doesn't work for me. I'm not doing that. Now that might seem simple to you, but it was very hard for me to get to that state because I did not know how to say no. Um, I read something, a Buddha quote the other day that said, um, learn to say no without explaining yourself. And that's so true. When you say no to someone, if they ask you why not, they're imposing on your privacy. It's none of their business why you don't want to, why you won't do it. It could be because you just don't want to. And they need to respect that. So they're violating you when they say, well, why not? So you get those people out of your life as soon as possible. I removed all the leeches and users. Oh, that was a deep one. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, just removed the chaos in my home. Made my home a very peaceful place. It's, a, it's my sanctuary now. When I go to sleep, take a nap, I turn off the phone so there's no chaos. Nothing can interrupt my slumber. If they really want to get in touch with me, they'll call later. Take that thorn out. What else have I removed? Let me think. I take walks with my little doggy. Especially now during the quarantine, I take her out and... Uh, you know, there's a movie theater, empty movie theater next door, so I take her there. So I'm removing all these barriers that I used to, used to be amazed that held me back. Ooh, that's a deep one. Insecurity. I remove all the insecurities I have through listening to a bunch of motivational videos every morning. They really pump me up and um, encourage me to do new things to have new ventures, to constantly be growing. And that does me a world of good. I threw out my shame clothes. Now, what are shame clothes? I used to wear these big, baggy, black, <laughs> almost muumu type of um, shirts that um, covered everything, covered all but 50 pounds that I gained. I, uh... I threw all those shame clothes out because I don't want to be ashamed of myself anymore. If I need to lose weight, I'll lose it. 
I need to lose weight for health purposes, more than for looking good, but for health purposes. So we can remove that. I removed um, comfort eating. Do I overeat once in a while? Yes, I do. But I realize it's a problem, so I remove it from my life. What else can I remove? I remove the pressure of um, trying doing things for other people's approval. Like maybe trying to get a diploma in something so I can say I have a diploma in something. I mean, who cares? Really, at the end of the day, people don't care. Right? I would love to get a master's degree in psychology, and I may do it, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I want to put in that effort at this late date. I, I may. Right now, I'm more into traveling and my family. So I could change my mind. I, I give myself uh, permission to change my mind. But meanwhile, here I am. Meanwhile, my family, uh, spending time with my grandkids and uh, traveling. I want to make it to Africa. I want to make it to Mexico to see some people I love there. So I'm just removing all these barriers. But a lot of it has been finding people not to put pressure on me not to control me. A lot of them have been family members to stop controlling me. So I'm removing. And as I remove, yeah, it's still dark, but it's getting better. Oh, that's a deep one too. Lots of barriers to remove. Now I still have some barriers left. Still working on them. Still working on it. Now these, these three, hmm, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to leave those because I'm sure I still have some stuff to work on. So my main goal is to, what I've been working on for the last three years, is to fill my world with happiness. Lots and lots of Peace and calm. Time for myself. I spend a lot of time alone. Or even if I can't be alone, I have a peaceful attitude. And that really helps me be able to stay calm. And the calm comes, the calm comes from the inside out. It's no longer dependent on outside things, you know. That thing I wanted to buy at the store or whatever, no. It's about being calm within me. So no matter what's going around what's going on outside of me, I can still be calm. That's my goal to keep me intact and my foundation so solid that no one can shake it like they used to. What I'm looking for is real change, you know? And I have achieved it. That's why I feel it's important for me to make this video because because I want you to know want you to know that it is achievable. And that's why I talk about my past, because I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, it is possible to change it. You don't have to lash out. You don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to. It is possible. There is a different way out. I know because I've done it. So please don't lose faith and stand up for yourself. You're important too. Sure, there's a lot of things to be achieved. There's a lot of stuff that has to be done. You have responsibilities, but your, your personal needs and rest is important too. And um, like I said, um, relaxation is a verb. 
and you need to relax. And a lot of times that relaxing is just being still. Just being still, the simple action of being still and not letting people push you around. And spreading that happiness into every aspect of your life. Spreading that serenity and that peace into every aspect of your life. And you see this color? This color's kind of neutral in the middle, kind of happy. That's where you want to be. Where nothing's really a big deal. Nothing's really the end of the world. It's just, okay, well, oh, oh, that happened? Okay, well, we'll deal with it. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take care of it. No problem. You don't have to throw a fit. You don't have to have a hissy fit or create a scene anytime everything happens. It's just, uh, I, I mention that because I know someone that is constantly like that. And I, I really, I don't deal with that person at all anymore. But I'm just letting you know that once you get addicted to that behavior, it's really, it's kind of hard to get away from it. I started, because I stayed with that person for a long time, I started becoming like that. And oh, thank God, today I'm not. <laughs> but, it, but it took some work because it, it is very contagious. So if you have anyone like that in your life, I really recommend that you uh, try to stay away from them. You know, I stopped talking to my sister because uh, we had a big argument and uh, she called me like six weeks later and she refused to apologize and uh, I had to cut her out. I had to tell her, I can't talk to you anymore if you refuse to apologize. So she uh, took herself off the family, off the group chat and uh, haven't heard from her since and that's fine. My days are very peaceful now. I just can't, I can't do it anymore, man. And that's sad that, you know, that's sad that it had to end that way, but it wasn't my choice, it was hers. All she had to do was apologize for her bad behavior, but she refused to, so. It is what it is, man. All I know is that I deserve an apology. I know that I deserve uh, to be treated right, so I have to stand up for myself. If I don't, who else will? It's part of loving yourself. If you say you love yourself... You got to stand up for yourself. See, now my life looks like a cake. <laughs> Before it looked like a horror show. Now it looks like a cake, right? It was a horror show, believe me. So yeah, you know, you guys, it's really, it takes just diligent work. Diligently staying at it. I call it sanding my boat. I keep sanding my boat, sanding my boat blow off the the dust and I say hmm it's looking good it's almost there and I keep sanding my boat sanding my boat someday I'll sail away but I'm sure I'll find some other little area of improvement while I'm sailing so it's okay it's okay for you to stand up for yourself it's okay to stop drinking and depending on chemicals you know that I got off Valium Valium <laughs> Now volume, volume. Uh, about, I think it's been about a year and a half now. Yeah, it's been about a year and a half, maybe two years. Uh, and um, yeah, I was very lucky to get off that. And uh, yeah, just getting better and better. So um, my trusty little kitty. <laughs> but yeah, just just keep doing what's best for you. So dethorn your life, guys. Dethorn your life. And your life will end up looking like a birthday cake. And this girl can... I wonder where my friend is now. You know, she passed away. I, I've always had this feeling that she's far, far away from me. Like some people say they can feel the person around them. And I did feel my nephew around me right after he passed away for a long time. But not my friend. I feel like she got as far away as she could, as fast as she could. And I'm happy for her. This right here is sage tea. Now it's a little bit bitter, but I put two spoons of honey in it. Mmm. Mmm. 
that is strong tasting. I like it though. Uh, you know, of course, I used to drink alcohol, so I do like strong flavors. But it says here that it um, it says that you can use it for tea. Oh, I read something. I, I read on the internet. It said that it um, helps. You. It's anti-inflammatory and uh, antioxidant and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm going to start drinking that. And I was also burning some of it earlier to like uh, some kind of spiritual thing. I have to read more about it. But anyways, they say it keeps away the bad spirits. I don't know. I know that I just say in the name of Jehovah God, go away and they go away. But yeah, that's my tea. It's pretty strong, but I like it. So, ooh. Take away the thorns of your life, guys. You deserve it. You deserve it. So, much love. Please be grateful for what you already have. And, um, there are my thorns. Throw them away. And thank you for sharing some time with me. Much love, guys. Bye-bye.